heart's beating fast, you're using all your muscles, you're just, usually like the heart rate's up there, like up at the top of the 100s into 200s, you're using everything you have when you're riding the bike. She is part of a sport and training program that is reaching new heights. When I was racing, it was more, you raced all the time, and, and there was a few training places, but nothing like, like there is now. Uh, seems like there's training facilities all over the country. A national champion himself, now teaching others how to kick their careers into high gear. Obviously, you only have a little, low, a short lifespan with this sport, so I guess just take it as far as I can and then see where I go from there. How far can they go? Will the homework done here on this small track help them achieve their big dreams? Going full throttle with motocross, digging deep into the dirt to get to the heart of the story. Class is in session at Muddy Waters MX Park. Looks like a lot of fun, but there's a lot of work being done here. The students on this day, a mix of ages and skills. Let's meet them. Gavin Nicholson, and I'm 12 years old. How long have you been racing? Uh, eight years. Eight years, wow, what got you in? My dad got me into it, and then ever since he got me into it, well, it kind of like pushed me a little bit, like, you know, because I was scared and then you got me into it and I just never let it go. My name is Cameron Campbell and I had just turned 18 at the beginning of June. On my third birthday, my dad came home with a little Yamaha bike for me and I don't know, just kind of after that, it was just like second hand to me just to start riding all over the place. My name is Kylie McLaughlin and I'm 24. Well, I got a dirt bike when I was like five, I think. My dad used to race hair scrambles and my brother races too and we've just been doing it ever since. What's your name? Cooper. Cooper, how old are you? I am eight years old. How long have you been racing? A year. What do you like about it? I like going fast and uh, my dad helping me a lot. So you get to do this with your dad, that makes it kind of cool? Yeah. Yeah, so when you first got on a bike, do you remember what that feeling was like for you? It was super scary. And then after like a few hours, I started to get a hang of it. Cooper's dad is their coach in an industry seeing a lot of growth as riders push themselves to heights never seen before, and they're looking for help to get there. Junior Jackson, uh, I teach motocross schools here out at Muddy Waters. Started riding when I was three, uh, started racing when I was four, um, turned professional when I was 16. He would go on to win more than a dozen national championships by the age of 16. But in this sport, age and injuries generally mean there is a limited time to compete at the highest level. Yep. So in his 20s, he got off the bike and started training others. A champion, building champions. First, first kid I worked with, Chad Johnson, 10 years old. They flew me up to Rhinelander, Wisconsin, and 20 below zero. And I taught the mo first motocross school with him with studs on his tire. And I'm thinking, this kid is crazy. These people are crazy. And uh, one year later, he won the Minios. Uh, we went on to win many championships and won arena cross titles and, and uh, it's, we, we're in contact weekly still. That's cool. What about this young man that you're working with now? What do you think about it? Right, it reminds me a lot of Chad. Well, uh, he's a good kid. He's, uh, he really listens well. He's uh, really, really getting fast on the bike. Why Junior? What do you like about Junior? What does he bring to the table? Uh, he brings a lot. He first starts, he builds your confidence up quite a bit, and he works with technique. He, he teaches stuff that not a lot of people teach anymore. A lot of people are just pounding motos and motos, and it's, real, it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, so you get a lot of knowledge, and obviously he went pretty far into racing, so he knows a lot about the sport. But yeah, everything, everything he teaches, it's just, when you hear it, it just gives you so much more confidence, like riding. I didn't, I didn't ever really thought I'd get to this level, but I did, so it's a lot of props to him. 
if he sees me do something wrong on one lap, he'll pull me off, and if he sees me do something right, he'll pull me off and tell me exactly what I did right or what I did wrong. So then I know to do that again or not to do it again, which it actually it helps quite a bit. What do you want to do someday? How far do you want to take this thing? I'd like to take it as far as it can go, but obviously you only have a little low, a short lifespan with this sport, so I guess just take it as far as I can and then see where I go from there. Last year I went to Loretto Lens, which is the biggest amateur national event. And then after that, I came back and it was either keep riding for fun or put my head down and get to work. And, and I had to choose one and I chose to put my head down and get to work. And luckily with Junior, I've really taken it to the next step. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we went to a regional qualifier for Loretta Lens. And I just wanted to make the two main events there. And I qualified for Loretta's and that wasn't even my goal. So it was pretty cool to do that first try. He is training now with a focus on fitness, knowing he has to put in the work to reach his goals. To be at a level that like he's at, it takes tons of fit. Fitness is the base of everything. So, you know, like we're at a point right now where he is riding faster than he ever thought he could. He's at a level that I don't think he thought he could reach, but his fitness is behind that. So he can run that pace for about half of the race, but his fitness doesn't allow him to keep moving forward. So we're really concentrating on fitness. So, And I assume that's when you make the mistakes that could cost you the races. When, when physically, and, physically and mentally. Yeah. Uh, physically, you know, you get tired. Mentally, you start, you know, getting tired, start making mistakes. Uh, you're trying to run the pace because you're up front, but you, you physically can't do it. So that's when the mistakes come, that's when you fall. Because falling is part of the sport. So what's that like for you when you wipe out? Uh, you just kind of, you know it's going to happen, you, it's the risk you take every time you ride the bike, but uh, I don't know, every, every crash is different, you just got to, before you get up, make sure you're alright and then keep going. You get up, check all your parts, Oh yeah. Say, hey, everything's here man. Yep. Sometimes the faster paced crashes hurt less because you just bounce right back up, but it depends on the dirt, when it's hard packed, it hurts, sometimes when you crashing the sand, you're having a better day. Kylie's resume is filling up fast with championships with her eyes set on the Loretta Lynn MX. That's the biggest event in amateur motocross racing. What do you like most about this? Um, honestly, I just like riding my dirt bike, going fast and just competing with everybody. That's a lot of fun. That feeling she gets that just can't be matched anywhere else. Your heart's beating fast. You're using all your muscles. You're just Usually, like, heart rate's up there, like, up at the top of the 100s into 200s, you're using everything you have when you're riding a bike, especially if you're, like, really pushing. Is it one of those things where they say that nervous energy, if you will, that adrenaline, really can help you perform a little bit better sometimes? Yeah, it can, but there's a huge, like, mental aspect of it, too, because if you don't let it help you, it's gonna hurt you. So it's, it's a lot of mental, too, so if you can be in a good headspace and use that adrenaline, it's gonna help a lot. Gavin agrees. He's here to get his headspace right too. I have a bad problem with like not keeping my confidence up. So I'll go for a jump and I'll give it gas all the way up the jump and then I let off a little bit. And so I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to learning that and learning how to keep my momentum through the roots and stuff. Looked him up actually and looked to see if he's got any stories. And I read them and I was like, you know, I. I want to choose him. I want to go with him. It's kind of cool to be coached by a champion, huh? Yeah, it's awesome. And what about the youngest rider here? For Cooper, for now, it's about spending time with Dad, having fun in the dirt, and maybe bringing home a trophy or two like he did in his very first competition. He was first, and I got second and won. So can, since you have two trophies, can I have one of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you plan on adding some more trophies to your collection, huh? Yeah. I think at this age where he's at, it has to be fun. They have to love it. If you don't have the love for it, it's never going to go farther anyway. So I just want to make sure he's doing things right so he's safe. If Let him have a great time with it. It's awesome for us. And if something more comes of it, then that's great. Day by day. Track by track, each of them taking it one step, one jump at a time.
thanks to our sponsors. Check out the links to support them in our show notes. Watch and listen to our other inspiring racing stories, including Victory Lap, Teen Racer, and Driver Rescue's Wife. Let us know what you think. Please subscribe. Follow us on the TVA Media Facebook page and our website. This is American Drive at the heart of the story with Gary Matibier Podcast and YouTube.